There are literally thousands of things to learn with photography. But what if I told you there was a golden triangle? Three things that will enable you to earn money with your camera. Things they don't tell you. So you went to college and you had a great time. You passed your exams with flying colours and you got your qualifications. And you went to look for your first job as a professional photographer. Except, there are no jobs. Not anymore. Technically, there are a few staff jobs left, yes, but hardly any. You might as well be looking for a job as an astronaut. So, what next? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Freelance. Work for yourself. Be your own boss. Control your own destiny. You work when you want, with who you want. You'll be living your dream. Or will you? Have you ever stopped to consider what exactly you need to make it as a professional? Well, let's take a minute to think about it. You need a camera, obviously. Maybe you need some lenses too. Other bits of kit like flash guns, tripods uh, and a bag to put it in of course. You'll need transport to get to work. And maybe a bit of insurance too. I mean you're going to have to be sure somebody isn't going to sue the hell out of you because they don't like their photo. That's it really. I mean you could go bigger I suppose. Invest some of your hard earned into uh, a studio, big lights, nice soft furry rug to photograph puppies on. I am joking about the soft furry rug. So you're ready, you've got everything packed for your career as a successful pro photographer. Well, no, you're not. I am sorry to be the bearer of bad tidings here, but there are three things that you need and they're not on your checklist. You didn't buy them. Why? Because you can't buy them, that's why. So what are these three things that you haven't got? Well, I didn't say you haven't got them. I just said that you need to have them. But you can't buy them. So let me reveal the truth that nobody told you. Firstly, you're going to have to have an absolute technical knowledge. And what I mean by absolute is that there can't be any gaps. Nothing you're not comfortable doing. If you've got a bad mark at college in the filling flash module, you can't spend the rest of your career avoiding filling flash. You've got to be able to do it. When you go to a job, you don't know what the lighting's going to be. It could be bright sunshine with huge panda eye shadows at midday. Low winter sun making everybody squint. Low indoor lighting, bright shop lighting, those damn awful down lights that make everybody go orange in hot spots all over the room. You don't know what you're going to find. So you're going to have to be prepared to do everything. And what if the customer's halfway through a job? It happens. They come to you because their photographer got sick or went on vacation. Or maybe they just plain fell out. They're halfway through a shoot. Your job is to match the photography with what the first snapper's already done. You've got to know how they achieve that look. You've got to be able to deconstruct their image and then replicate it. That's your job. You're going to have to be able to do any lighting, any lens, any white balance, any post-production that your client needs. Period. Secondly, you're going to have to like, you know, love meeting people. And they're going to have to like you too. Because the moment you turn up to photograph people, straight away, as soon as you meet them, then that relationship has started. You've got to quickly find out where their interests lie, where their humour's pitched, what they like, and more importantly, what they don't like. Because now your single one goal, above anything else, is to get them to like you. And if they like you, then they'll buy from you. In this situation, the buying is just them doing what you ask them to do. And throughout the shoot, 
You've got to be working on that relationship constantly. You can't let it slip. People buy from people. If they like you, then you'll get some great photos of them. If they don't, if they don't, well, you might as well pick up your coat on the way out. And remember, the easiest way for them to like you is for you to like them. So you have to be eager to meet new people. It's not preferable, it's imperative. Now the third golden ticket to your photography career is that you need to have an eye for a picture. You need to be creative. You've got to be able to conjure up an idea from a photo as though you were pulling a rabbit from a hat. You need to be creative without even thinking about being creative. People are going to employ you to solve their visual dilemmas. They need you to help them strengthen their brand. They need your thoughts, your awareness. They need your spark. Now if you remember, I said that these were things that you needed. You couldn't buy. Well, to be fair, maybe there's an argument to say that you could buy the first one, the technical knowledge. If your photography education is a good one, you should be pretty proficient in most skills already. With time and effort, you can probably get up to speed in your weak areas. So that is attainable. But the last two, the being good with people, being a people person, and the being creative, they need to come from deep inside. It's inbuilt. There are those in the teaching profession who'd argue that I got this wrong. They'd say, everything can be taught. People can be taught to be better communicators. And I get that. They can, they're right. But I'm not just talking about being a better communicator. We're not computers. We can't just plug in a better quality cable and everything's fixed. No, I'm talking about the natural ability to shine, to entertain, to captivate an audience and to leave them wanting more. So, before you head out on your freelance journey, or better still, before you set your heart on being a pro photographer in the first place, ask yourself this, do I have the skills? And be honest with yourself. Because if you do have the technical know-how, the gift of the gap, the ability to wow people with creative ideas, then you'll be set to trade in the most wonderful of professional arts. Believe me, photography is going to get inside you. It's going to run through your veins like it's part of your DNA.